Hey guys, welcome to Brit Indians. I'm Joshua Apta. In this video, we are going to look into what are the spam calls that you will get in the UK that you shouldn't be tricked uh, by the people making these uh, spam calls. So there are like some of the some of the people who are making spam calls in the UK regularly. Those who are in the UK, they know about it. So you should know to avoid these spam calls. So I'm going to list what are the spam calls in this video. So let's get into the video. The first one, the first common one is uh, your national insurance number is used illegally. Uh, so, you know, we need uh, to take some action on you. So this is the main spam call that most of the people will get. Uh, don't get tricked by it. Uh, your no one can, you know, take your national insurance just by that. Only your employer and you will know your national number. Uh, so don't share your national number with anyone. Uh, second is you haven't submitted your records properly in the immigration uh, at the airport. Uh, so you have to give your and BRP details immediately to us. Um, so this is also another uh, spam call that you will get. Uh, don't be afraid. You know, uh, immigration officers, they do their work wonderfully. So you don't have to worry about it. Whatever immigration problem that you get, just if you're in the university, go and inform the uh, student services in your university. They will take care of it. Or if you have any problem with your uh, immigration status, if you're employed by someone, then go and talk to your HR about it. Don't ever reveal your passport details or BRP details to anyone outside. Next common one is you have been involved in a cra car crash and you need to claim your insurance. I got this call when I was doing my master's and at the time I didn't even have a car. So I told them, you know, I don't have a car and they were like, oh, then give your date of birth. Uh, we have to verify it uh, against your uh, details. Give your date of birth, give your postcode. So these are some of the personal details that you will, they will ask. Um, so don't share your date of birth or postcode with anyone that you don't know. Next one is you have been involved in illegal activities and if you don't report to this place, then your visa will be terminated. Uh, so some people might get afraid because of, because they might be working in, uh, you know, um, cash in hand jobs. Uh, so they think, okay, we got caught or something like that. Uh, so if you guys are working in cash in hand jobs, then it's uh, illegal, but um, uh, nobody will call and tell you about it. Uh, so, you know, so you will have random checks uh, in your shops or something like that. So at the time, the immigration officer will come and verify your uh, payrolls. Uh, so you may be get caught by that, but nobody will call you and tell you, you know, you have been involved in some criminal activity or something like that. That won't happen. Next one is you haven't paid your tax for the year, pay it immediately or your visa will be terminated. Uh, so if you're doing proper payroll jobs, then your tax will be detected from it. So you don't have to worry about it. So when you get your paycheck, obviously your tax will be deducted from that uh, before you get your paychecks. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, next is you will receive a text message saying you missed your Royal Mail delivery and you have to pay, you know, two pounds, five pounds or 10 pounds to reschedule the delivery. Unless and until you're sure that you are having a Royal Mail delivery, click it. But if you're not sure, then don't click that link. It's a clickbait where, you know, they will just uh, hack your phone or maybe they will just get your uh, bank details from the card pin numbers that you're entering. So don't do that ever. And the final one is a common one all over the world. You have won a lottery in the Euro millions and you're going to be a millionaire. You have to pay this much amount to this person. So don't fall for that. That's a common thing, common trick used by people. So don't fall for that. Um, so these are some of the uh, 78 spam calls that you will get in the UK. Uh, don't worry if you're getting some calls like this, they're asking for if they are asking for their personal details, just don't share it. Uh, tell them, you know, if you're a student, tell them I'm going to discuss this with my student services and get back to you. Or, you know, you may just hang the call or you can uh, inform your HR or your employer about it. Don't fall for these spam calls. Uh, because you will lose if you lose your uh, date of birth, your postcode, your BRP details, or passport details, or any number, then people can do a lot of thing with your personal details. So don't don't ever share your NA number, your BRP number, your passport number, uh, your bank details, um, your uh, date of birth, your postcode through phone unless and until it's an important one you know that you're calling someone and you know maybe uh, for your uh, virgin media internet or for your uh, phone bill or maybe for 
uh, your uh, university person or to an employer if you're talking to them on phone then obviously you can share it but then if you don't know anyone if they're calling and telling you okay we need these details then just don't share it if there are any other spam calls other than this that you you may have heard of or if you have experienced something like this just leave it in the comment section which will be helpful for the other people i hope this video is useful for you we'll meet in the next video until then goodbye cheers